Hello, I'm Nina Hartley, and I have sex. Fellatio. It's wonderful. It is, um, I like it better than intercourse because I get to be completely in control. It's all about my relationship with his bits. It's just so, I love boy bits. It's like, oh, they're right, oh, 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 yay. So enthusiasm. You cannot, again, you cannot do a blowjob to please another person. You, can, you should not do any sexual act to please another person because I would rather have my partner fully present and do less than have them shut down and close off so I can do more. So, so the fully present hand job, feeling my boobies through my sweater making out is much better for me than lying there with a terrified guy who has performance anxiety because Nina Hartley and his penis has to wear a condom. I don't need intercourse that much. So a happy, a happy partner is very important. And, um, and if you're, I don't can't give sex tips to guys, but if you're a woman sucking dick, ladies just have fun. You know, if, you, if, if that's a whole show, put on some fancy eye makeup and your best push-up bra and, and then make it a pretty picture and then just really get into the power of it and use your power for good, not evil. So don't do blowjobs to get something, don't withhold them to punish. Sex should never be used as punishment or reward. It should be used as an expression of lust and affection between the, the people. Um, sex is punishment always backfires and sex is reward is that that treats your partner like a child. In my, in my view. Now, unless, unless that's a game you're playing, in which case that's a whole different thing, but in non-DS, kinky situations, fellatio should be something that you like to do because it's fun to do. And, um, and if you do the fellatio at the beginning of the date, it picks your lipstick and then go out, he'll be so sweet to you the whole date. He'll be talking about what has to happen later and what you like, and he'll be in such a good mood. And then you'll get yours later. Yay. And then if he's, you know, under 60, he'll be able to go again later. So win-win. Um, oh, and another thing, uh, don't, don't blow past your own comfort level. So if guys have said this to me, oh, I can't come from head. Well, then you're going to come from head, a hand job, or something, because we're not having intercourse. Just so you know. So I, I'll be happy to help you come. But this is, these are things I'm offering to to, to do that with. So in my in my first marriage, I told my husband I would never, ever, ever refuse him a blowjob. Day or night, he would get the 10 most focused minutes of my attention. More than 10 minutes he needs to get off. So you either wake me up at the end of your, you've been masturbating next to me and you're close, wake me up, fine, or get off in 10 minutes. But so I told him I will always be enthusiastic for 10 minutes. You pick which 10 minutes it is, but I'm not going to keep blowing until my jaw hurts or I'm angry or annoyed or my neck is, no, 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 no. And to ask a person to do that, I just, sweetheart, I'm gonna lay here and you can jerk off on my tits. I like the look of you, I'm in the room with you, I'm good vibing you, and yay, I get to play blow up doll because I'm tired. <laughs> and so learning how to manage those differences in libido is really important um, in, in a relationship. And fellatio, again, oh my gosh, this is what's not to like about it. Oh my God. <laughs> But enthusiasm, a number one tip for Felicio is be happy to be there and the rest of it will take care of itself. Oh, and make your mouth happy. Because I'm pleasuring my mouth, he'll be happy.